I just got four kids at my door that says that somebody just killed their mama. A chilling 911 call from a neighbor. A South Carolina man kills his girlfriend Tuesday, as well as her parents, two children, and then takes his own life. Seemed just like a happy family to me. The day before, police say a Texas man killed his mother, an aunt, and three others. Well, you have a tendency to think, how can that happen here? On Saturday, police say a Brooklyn man hacked and stabbed a mother and her four children with a butcher knife. All clothes at the block. The same day, a man in Phoenix killed four neighbors, then himself. I yelled at him, and then he turned around and shot two more rounds upstairs. Could this spate of multiple killings be part of something bigger? Four mass killings that occur over a short period of time represent a terrible tragedy, but not necessarily a trend. Uh, in fact, Mass killings simply do not distribute themselves evenly. Criminologist Jack Levin has literally written a book on mass murder. We see the family as a crucible of love, and yet it's also a focal point of violence. Levin says 40% of mass killings are among family members, as three of the four cases in the past week have been. The most likely motive for a mass murder in the family is revenge. And while each death sends shockwaves throughout a community, experts like Levin say they are just examples of the random and seemingly senseless violence that happens in this country. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.